J-Dub shop time. Always trying to make this trailer pay for itself. Hey, J-Dub shop time. So I got some cool stuff. Like I said uh, yesterday on my previous video, I said I had some some uh, industrial equipment going up for uh, whatever. I'm hoping somebody can use it. A um, couple of gantry cranes. They're a thousand pound each, you know. Roll back and forth, winch. This winch needs a little bit of rewiring and the box remounted to it, but the trestles are there on both pieces of I-beam. The other trestles up there underneath of it. And uh, somebody had a big shop, you know, or even uh, into doing industrial repair or equipment or anything could use it in the shop. Here's the post here. The post, this post here is for that crane. And I'll be getting the post for this one hopefully soon. And so if anybody wants a gantry crane that will lift up to a thousand pounds, like 12 feet out, uh, I have a couple. So let me know. And then we'll go this way. We're going to go this way. We're going to go out here and have a little J-Dub shop time. So uh, working on the Dodge. Showed you all that stuff on the previous videos, free spin kit and everything, and I got to thinking, uh, make you a quick repair video. I know a lot of guys struggle getting their unit bearings out, and I'm sure you've probably watched a video or whatever. Whatever. Don't care. I'm going to show you. Let's turn on the wall jeep. Okay, we got the wall jeep on. So you got your unit bearing. You got the old unit bearing here, and so uh, is how I'm doing it, or how I was taught the trick, is you get yourself an impact socket. You only loosen up your bolt to where it's maybe about a half inch, quarter inch out or whatever, and get yourself the proper extension just to get in here long enough. I use my three quarter. I run a three quarter back down to half inch, and it seems to work out like the perfect length. Hang your bolt, hang your socket on there. And we're going to go ahead and start up the truck. And we're going to try and hydraulic it out. And don't get me wrong. I mean, it's probably not the proper way. But it's the way J-Dub Shop Time does it. Make sure the bad girl's in neutral, right? Safety first, you know what I mean? How do you like that safety neutral switch on the bus? So we got our socket in there, right? We're gonna get a little, we're gonna get a little press out and see what happens. You turn it, and it'll come up against the side of the knuckle. I think I may not have the bolt screwed out far enough. Bring her out a few more threads. Right 
that one may get it. It comes up against the knuckle a little sooner. Shutter back down. All right. I hope everybody was able to see that. I'm sure the filming was terrible. So we got it to where she's popped loose. Now we can we can uh, we can do some destruction to it now, and she'll come out. And I'll tell you, a lot of times what I do is I'll. I'll heat the whole knuckle up right here and that way it swells the knuckle up a little bit enough to get the unit bearing out what we were able to do without that and may have to push that top a little more we may do that right now we'll throw our socket back on here We'll give her another little crank on the steering wheel and she should pop out. Aye. Neutral check. see that once again and a lot of times I can just kind of wedge it Put a little pressure on it should have warned you folks about the noise <laughs> Uh, undo our bolts. And one thing about it too, is I'm not even worried about damaging a bolt here because we're putting all new bolts in. And it's not that it comes with the, it comes right with the free spin kit. So, be able to uh, go ahead and put all brand new hardware in there to hold the spindle on.
get this side off. So, a friend of mine and I were just talking about this on removal of these. And uh, a good friend of mine was doing a Ford one time. And man, I'll tell you what, he had the whole the whole thing separated the flange out of the unit bearing by the time he was done trying to pull it out with pullers. And uh, I showed up at his house on a Saturday and like, hey, what are you doing, Dave? What are you doing, buddy? And he says, well, I'm trying to get this unit bearing out. I've been working on it for days now and I can't get the thing out. I started, he said he started on it on a Friday night and he was still working on the same one trying to just get the thing pressed out of the knuckle itself the steer knuckle portion because they get seized in there don't get me wrong 150 or 200 thousand miles or whatever you happen to get out of your unit bearing uh wear out pretty darn quick well what well, seems quick so we'll get the nut off of that and as you can see now she's all pressed out of there we've got big gap so that's it. You just leave a couple of bolts in there, run them out half inch, three quarters of an inch or whatever, you know, you can run them out quite a ways. You can still leave quite a bit of thread in there and just put yourself a socket in there, crank the wheel, let the socket come up tight against your knuckle and it'll pop them out every time. So that's your tip of the day. J-Dub shop time. We'll talk to you later, folks. Hey, let me know if anybody needs a gantry crane. I know nobody needs one probably scrap them but they're too nice to throw in the garbage pile today let me know we'll talk to you later we'll ship it even if you want to do that we'll talk to you later